inventory arriving daily. Hurry in. Esto es CBS Nueva York. CBS Mornings coming up in this hour. There are new questions around the school shooting in Texas. Why parents are now demanding answers as we learn more about the police response. Gun violence is about public health as well as law and order. Dr. Celine Gounder will share ideas to keep people safe. We'll also take time this hour to reflect on why there are so many mass shootings here in the U.S. Lee Cowan speaks to what he calls our national wound. It's certainly that, but first, here's today's eye-opener at 8. New details are emerging about the timeline of events during the school shooting in Uvalde. Yesterday we had all my family here, but it was empty. <laughs> There is growing outrage over how police handled the crisis as 21 people were killed. The cops said, help if you need help. One of the persons in my class said help. The guy overheard and he came in and shot her. Guns are never a responsibility. A gun is a tool. The annual NRA convention starts today in Houston despite pleas to cancel the event. It's disrespectful to be talking about guns when 19 kids have been killed. We want to be worried about our grades and finals, not our lives. Disappointed. Angry. Frustrated. Tired. Students across the country are making their voices heard, staging walkouts and demanding gun reform. No gun violence. We're taking it into our own hands to try and get them to listen that we can't keep dying at school. Enough is enough. The time is now to pass real, lasting legislation. I'm so pulling for these young people. I'm so glad that they are speaking up in the way that they're speaking up because they're right. Enough is enough. Yeah, Michelle, but we're all saying yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Michelle, but, you said it earlier. Uh, yeah, they've got to vote. Yeah. Yeah. That's where vote, they'll yeah. be heard yeah. in the well, ballot box. We are going to begin this hour with outrage and the search for answers over the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Parents and community members want to know, did police do all they could as the massacre unfolded, taking the lives of 21 people including 19 children. New information appears to contradict what police initially said about what had happened. Janet Shamlian is following all of this for us in Uvalde. Janet, good morning. Dana, good morning to you. The brief.